so in this video i have made something funny for you so here you can change its color by clicking here and let's change it to red color okay similarly you can uh, use this color at multiple screens or multiple places just copy this color and go to the colors class and paste it here and its name will be new color simply you can use new color here and if you want to use the same color here you can write new color that's it now you can ch change uh, this new color from here once and it will be changed at wherever we are using this color okay now next here we can do one more thing here we have an option of button below it simply you can ask chat gpt to create a button for you that's it you can copy it and remove this line okay now uh, place this button below let's suppose we are placing it below this and click here and pull it towards right and pull it towards left so it will be on the middle the code will be automatically added here now one more thing you can do here is a uh, margin from uh, top okay so now it automatically took a distance from top so its name will be click here for more info okay so this is the button and we can call chat gpt click listener for button with the source messages so it have created button okay just go to the kotlin file so as uh, the chat gpt have provided us in java so you need to click on yes to convert it to kotlin okay now similarly i think it's okay this is the kotlin code you can directly copy it and paste it here and import these classes by pressing control and enter um uh, sorry alt and enter okay now our button name here is my button and uh, activity now let's sync it once i i guess there is something issue with it so here we have created a new um method okay new function pasting it again so it, it we can write it directly right find view by it's a type of button and id is that's it so when we run it so on clicking uh, the button it will show a message of this type of message button clicked Okay. So that's it for now.